All right, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to verify. It's very much like simplify, except I tell you what you actually have to simplify to. So I'm telling you here that secant squared theta minus 1 divided by secant squared theta is going to simplify down to sine squared theta. You have to show me every single step and every single reason on how you transform this side into sine squared. Now, when you verify, these can get very complicated. So here's the rule of thumb. Pick the most complicated side to work with. You're not allowed to move things across the equal sign or anything along those lines. And in this class, we're only ever going to work one side. Do not work both sides in my class. We're only going to work one side. So I'm going to look and say, well, this is clearly the more complicated side. The reason why I'm choosing the more complicated side is going to give me more options that I can do to simplify. Here, I don't have a lot of options with sine squared theta. Here, I have a lot of options. So I want to pick the side that gives me the most, diff the most different ways that I can attack this problem. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, all right, I need to turn this into sine squared theta. Well, I don't see an obvious way to do this yet, but I want to just start playing with the equation until I figure this out. All right, the bell's about to ring, so I'm gonna pause for a second. All right, so I know secant squared theta minus one. Hmm, I'm gonna split this up. Let's split this up because I can split this into two different fractions. I could say secant squared theta over secant squared theta minus one over secant squared theta. And you don't have to keep writing the, equal, um, the sine squared, just write the equal to and that implies that this keeps coming down. And all I did is I just split things up. You just write the word split. Now we'll understand what you're saying. Now, secant squared theta divided by secant squared theta, that's 1. And then this is minus. And 1 over secant squared theta, well, hmm. Hmm, that's cosine squared theta. Oh, I have my answer. Because now 1 minus sine, and this was just simplifying and a reciprocal. So simplifying and my reciprocal. 1 minus cosine squared theta, that's sine squared theta, by the Pythagorean identity. And voila, the ultimate goal is that this has to look exactly like this. Sine squared theta looks exactly like sine squared theta. We are done. This entire thing is your answer. These are so much fun. I can make hundreds of videos of doing these. But these are also get very complicated some that take me quite a bit of time for myself to figure out. So if you're getting frustrated at this, it's okay. Keep working through them. Don't give up. Hi, I'm Mr. Buzzer, and these videos are supplemental instruction for my students. If you found the video enjoyable, make sure you click the like button and click subscribe, as well as the bell for notifications to receive future videos on high school mathematics. <laughs>